Good night, everybody. It's been a pleasure to have you back in class. Hey, how are you guys doing? So far, is it good? Good night. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Hey, I have uh, Claudia here. Sorry. Yes, Claudia, yes. I have Leo, Ali. Good night, guys. Hey, I have Liz. Um, I also have um, Blanky, uh, Edwin, and Julio. There you go. Can yeah. you hear me, guys? Yes? Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay, cool. Let me check. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. All right, we are we are having Gabby join into this class, so it's amazing. That's great. That's awesome. Hey, tell me, guys, how's your day? Is it good? It was very good. It was very good. Very yes, very tired. Yes, my one as well, Leo. Especially, it's really hot, right? Yeah. I don't know how's, where you live, guys, how's but the, how's a ventilador in English? Fan. Fan. What fan? Fan. No, like yeah, fan, fan, the fan, fan. No, we have. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fan. No, it's, it's fan. Yeah, fan. Uh, yeah, like this. Fan. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because with you, remember that with you is to have fun, right? To enjoy yeah, it. fun. Yeah. Enjoy. Just one letter is different, but it makes such a I big difference, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Same. Do you have fan? You have electronic fan or like the regular one? I think the, one that I think the, the old guys in here we have a fan. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think. You think so? Yeah, I, I do. I do too. Also, because here for me in El Salvador is really hot, but I prefer to live here in El Salvador than in uh, Panama, for example, because Panama is really hot. Mm -hmm. I no way. Imagine them. Um, they don't have like volcanoes or mountains as we do so uh basically they are like the the same level of the ocean they have the Atlantic <laughs> ocean and the pacific ocean and uh, only the canal is the one that divides the two oceans and uh basically oh, that's the reason why it's really hot is just living in, in the coast every day for example there uh, everybody must have like air conditioner at home because if not, uh, it's, it's, uh, you, cannot, you cannot live like that. For example, um, we are happy when it's rain, right? Because after that, heel feels really fresh, etc. Because there's a still ground, there's just an earth when the, they like, they can come in, inside the earth, right? And, and, uh, and but there, there's, the, a, no, there's no earth to come. There's no and the life in, in, the, in the life in Panama is it, it's too expensive or uh, well yes actually yes it's, it's expensive mm -hmm. the food and the lifestyle the the, the shoes and the um, clothes and everything no, no. but uh, besides that yes no the food is expensive okay. yes it is and there when it rains it's really hot because after it rains a lot the whole all, the everything goes up again. So you feel like um, like a really humid hot. Ugh, mm -hmm. No way. So I prefer to live here, definitely. It's better. Okay. Hey, we have it's Julio. Woo. Mr. Julio. Yeah. Julio Cesar? No, Julio Quinteros. Hey, you, you were not in uh, yesterday's class. Were you? No, right? It's the first time, it's your first class today? Yeah. Yes, it is okay. my first class. But that's ha I'm happy that you're here, that you make it. Yay, it's amazing. <laughs> hey, guys, tell, okay, thank you, uh, Julio. Leo said that it wasn't really tough. What about you guys? How was your day? Yes, one at a time. Please don't complicate your life. I know that everybody wants to participate. I understand that perfectly. But just one at a time will be fine. Okay, Edwin, thank you so much. Go ahead. Knew it. Good night, everyone. Good night, Edwin. Today was a uh, hey, good night, bro. Very relaxed day. Really, the opposite of Leo. Why? <laughs> I'm jealous. I, yeah. I didn't go to work, and I had yeah. time to visit my family in Chirilawa. And really? my parents have many fruit trees, 
and I was able to bring home mangoes, icacos. Oh, really? Icacos? <laughs> oh my God. I have, uh, let me check, more than five years without tasting icacos. Oh, oh yeah. my God, I miss them. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky you. A little bit. <laughs> what else? And that's it. That's it. All, all my day. You, I uh -huh. I go to visit here them um no much time. You you went, you went to visit them, you spent time with them, you stay with uh, them. Yeah. That means you spend time with them. That's uh, amazing. Yeah. yeah, very good. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Chirilagua, you said. Where where is it located? In San Miguel. Oh, San Michael? It's part yeah. of San Michael. Oh, okay. Yeah. But how far is from San Michael City? Uh, 30, 30 how minutes. How far? 30 minutes? 30 minutes, 30 by, minutes. by car, by bus? And walk. In car. Oh. In car. So that means like in, an in hour. If you in walk. bus, one hour. Ah, one hour. One hour in bus. Mm, okay. Mm, it's pretty close, actually. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's amazing. You spend <laughs> time with your family. Oh, that's great. Hey, yeah. guys, pay attention, okay? Because maybe the teacher will come up with a game and it will ask you some questions. I don't know. It, it could be a possibility. So you got to pay attention about what your body says. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, well, tell me. Uh, 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 Jaime, welcome to the jungle, my friend. <laughs> you know what? I had a, 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 a my friend, Jaime, and he said, ah, I saw you be out yesterday. Yeah. And he said, you know what, what? Do you, you have a student who has the same of my name, Jaime, because his name is Jaime too. And I was like, yes, I think all Jaime follows me. He said, <laughs> he starts laughing, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he's happy that you your name is Jaime because his name is Jaime too. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Hey, what about your day? How's your day? Well, it was really great. Really? I be yes, I began my day with a co-worker meeting. Uh -huh. It was around three, three hours. Ooh. And it was very dynamic. Hey. We work we work as a team uh -huh. and we can find an answer to a problem that we had. And then I went to pick up my son and my wife. And finally we just go back to home. You just came back home. That's yes. amazing. Very good. So that was really good, actually, right? Yes, it was a great day. At what time did you start your meeting with your uh, co-worker? At what time? Uh, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock a.m.? Oh, cool. That's amazing. And I'm so happy that you also figured it out, uh, the answer for the problem. Figure it out. Yes. Have you heard that, that bird, guys? Figured it out? Yes. Yeah, that means resolve it, right? That is a two-word verb, okay? A phrasal verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you so much. And Marion was like, why are you talking about? <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, Jamie, for sharing. Oh, you see? You see? Come on, don't be like that, Elwin. That mango looks delicious. <laughs> and two mangoes, come on. Are there hot hot mangoes, right? Hot or no? Oh, Tommy. Tommy Ohare, what kind of mangas are you? I think it's Tommy. Tommy, right? Tommy, oh my Tommy, goodness. Yeah, yeah. Ah, they look so delicious. Ah, but I have right now a gastro problem, so I do not, I must not eat mango right now. And I love it by heart. Okay, that's good. That's, that's one of the things that is really nice to live here in, in, in a tropical country, right? Because we can taste most of the fruits. Oh, and I love it. Mm. Uh, also, how you call that? Paternas, right? Paternas. But yeah. but I don't like the 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 white thing that covers the seed. I like the green seed that you can boil and you can like enjoy it with salt and lemon. I love paterna. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me too, Liz. Right, Liz? By okay, heart. Paterna. Yes, it's delicious. Delicious. Yes. Yeah. And she said, yeah, you see? That's delicious. <laughs> yeah. But, but I cannot because I cannot um, 
it use uh, a lemon or any acid or something. Okay. Well, hopefully it get much better. Hey, thank you, uh, Jaime. Let me see who else. Uh, Claudita, what about you? How's your day going? Hey, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> well, in my case, it's so different that uh, the other participants. Mm -hmm. Because uh, <laughs> uh, today is was so tired and distressed. Wow. Um, apart, for, uh, apart from the normal day mm -hmm. uh, in my work, mm -hmm. um, because I received bad news about health uh, from my uncle Ooh. who lives in Guatemala. Okay. Uh, you know how the actual situation is about COVID and that's so sad. Of course. Yeah, um, but in God we, we trust that the situation will be better soon. Hopefully you would too. We're gonna, we're gonna pray for him, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I know. I, that happens to me when one of my friends, he's a doctor and, and all his family uh, are infected. So I understand that perfectly. I think that's why I have a gastro problems as well because I really care about him. I know that that is one of my friends that you can count with your finger, guys. He's my friend since I was 16 years old. Can you imagine? And now I'm like <laughs> almost 40 and living like that way, right? And we'll still be friends. Can you imagine? That is um, one of the friends that you you count with your hand with your fingers. So I understand that perfectly, Claudia. But thank you so much for sharing. I know it was good news and not good news. But thank yeah. you so much. All right. I appreciate it. Um, let me check. Josue, what about you? Hello, hello. What about me? About how the... was your day? Oh, how was my day? Uh -huh. Um very, very nice. I oh. went to my grandmother's house to your grandma's I, house yes yes grandmother's house um i i talked with my uncle about the the, the water okay about yeah. the weather conditions okay yes what else uh, what else i don't know um, you tell me <laughs> well i use the computer Use the computer. Uh -huh. <laughs> to do that, to play games because you're a video game fan, right? Yes, I played several games, video games on the computer. Really? Yes, uh, and study about the, the past, simple past, the simple past. Oh my God, he's a really nice student, you see, guys? So <laughs> dedicated. Okay, that's nice. We're going to prove yeah. that today, okay? Yes. Don't worry about that. <laughs> no, okay. but that's okay. <laughs> Excellent for being a really good student. And congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Ah. thanks. And is there Thank anything you. else that you would like to share with us? No. Uh, can you repeat the question? Is there anything else that you would like to share with us? No, anything. So how do you say when you say goodbye? When you finish? Remember, uh, guys? What was the phrase? The magic uh, phrase? That's it. Yeah, that's okay. It. Do it, Jose. That's it. That's it. Excellent. That's Very good job. All right, thank you. You're paying attention, right, guys? Uh -huh, by the way. Okay. <laughs> and let me see who else. Marilyn Monroe. Hey, guy. Hi, girl. Oh, you look so Hi, pretty. Hi, Marilyn. You look so pretty. I love your dress. Uh, Tell us about your day. How was your day? <laughs> I continue Hi. saying you are like mm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay, Hello. my day um I got up at 6 a.m. Woof. And yeah. <laughs> and I took a shower. I'm going around to okay. my work. Okay. <laughs> I run to my work and I I had a breakfast. Mm. Yeah. Um, and um, I I have um I have many things to 
to do in to my do? work. To do? Oh, you did a lot of things? Oh. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I, um, after work, I, I both two pair of shoes. It's very cool. Oh, you <laughs> oh both. my God. You bought a pair of shoes? <gasps> Okay, today was yes, payday. That I was like amazing. It. Okay. <laughs> Lucky okay, her, right? Uh, <laughs> Please show it to us. Then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I came home and made dinner. You prepared dinner. And okay. Pre 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 prepared dinner. I have, I have the, um, how do you say? I share the dinner with my husband and my in her mother and her mother ah so it's your mother-in-law my mother-in-law mm -hmm. okay. oh that's, that's why you look pretty today you didn't need to be fancy right it was a oh that's right <laughs> do, do you prepare the dinner did you prepare yes. it or no yeah yes it yes. was like a typical dinner you know fried beans banana scrambled eggs like that Tortillas, um, I don't know. Yeah, uh, no, it is. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Platanos. <laughs> Platanos, how do you say it? Banana, banana. 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 But fry banana, fried banana, I, because most of the fried time, banana. but sometimes you boil it, right? The mm -hmm. avocado. Um, avocado, avocado, yeah, avocado, yes, avocado. Um, um, pa, uh, potatoes. Potato? Potato? Uh, no. No, mas. How do you... Is... Hash browns. Hash browns. Hash browns? Oh, yes. They're really good. I... I... <laughs> See, only fried. <laughs> but that's only, okay. Only oh, okay. Yeah. I love the menu. And a cup of coffee, by the way. Uh, they drink wine. Look, my wine. And... Oh, <laughs> ratatouille. That's cool. Yeah, that's one of my it. favorite ones. <laughs> ratatouille. That's my cup for coffee, for tea, whatever. Uh huh. Um, so, water. As do you for are drinking? drinking. Uh huh. Yeah. Do you drink coffee? Of course, by heart. I'm a coffee holic. Uh, okay. Of cool. Because of course, it is okay. good. Amazing, I can say. <laughs> okay, so okay. the so the dinner that's was delicious. Yes. Okay. Ash, Thank it's you not that. it's not that I prepare it, you know, but it was delicious. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's delicious. And now you are in here in class. That's great. Very good job, Marilyn. Okay. Excellent job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Very you. good. Good try. Uh, Blanquita, what about you, my girl? Hi. Hey, how are you? Fine. That's great. Tired. Everybody's tired. I don't know why, except the teachers. Yes. Had a lot of energy. <laughs> so tell uh, us. Well, I uh, in the morning I was uh, to work. You went to work. Okay. Yes. Uh, I have a a lot of work. <laughs> you had a lot of work. Wow. Sorry yes. for that. See. Sí. And. <laughs> um, in the afternoon, uh, mm -hmm. my husband and, and me was the at the supermarket. You went to the supermarket. Yes. To mm -hmm. do your shopping. Yes. Okay. In the mall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, we we were dinner in, in the mall. Because oh, so you I had dinner in, there. Okay. Yes, because I didn't cooking. This night. <laughs> ah, no, kitchen is closed, but not every day, only today. Yes. Okay, yes. okay, okay. You should buy a, like uh, something that you can put on the wall, right? And she said, kitchen closed every day. Or you can yes. say kitchen closed on Sunday, right? <laughs> My mama had a, used to have one of these, you know, that she put it on Sundays and she said, kitchen is closed on Sundays. 
Uh, that means that everybody, if you want to eat, you should like use like cornflakes or something like that, right? <laughs> she was gonna, she wasn't gonna cook. Like, Sunday done good. cooking. No way! It was her day off. <laughs> That's great. That's it. That's it. Excellent. Yes. Hey guys, very good. Excellent. I love the what you did, Gabby Velasquez. I know that you were waiting for your turn. I, I understand. She was like, mm, she was like, she was like, no. <laughs> she was like, he was like. And like that, okay, okay, haul your horses, haul your horses, it's gonna be a ton. Okay, and now it's your Don't turn. Go as me. Don't embarrass me, come on, nah, I'm teasing you. Hey guys, what is teasing? Um, what is teasing? Kidding with you? No, I understand. Yes, teasing is when you're kidding, when you're joking with one person in particular. Okay. If you're oh. give, uh, making a joke for everybody. Oh, and you're right in the chat. No, I'm going. <laughs> of course, I'm going to write it in. Thanks. Teasing. Teasing when you're making jokes with somebody no, okay. specifically. When you're making jokes for everybody, you can say, I'm joking or I'm kidding, right? Okay. That's the difference. Very good. Okay, Gabby, <laughs> go ahead. We'll listen to you. The Microsoft is all yours. Okay. Um. Well, my day was kind of crazy. First, I have to say that I thought it was going to be a boring day, you know, like, it was like, oh, well, I have nothing important to do today at work, so I could take advantage of this time to watch some English video, you know, like a nerd, mm -hmm. <laughs> and maybe do hey, one hey, or don't two. Offend, don't offend, don't no, offend, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I could do one or two quizzes, but how wrong I was. Why? The phone never stopped ringing and my boss was calling me every five minutes asking, uh, uh, asking me a lot of stuff plus the accounting area sent me the last month's credits to apply in the system uh, uh, and it took me longer than expected but i survived but i, will I have survive. to say hey, that hey. <laughs> well but not not all was a bad thing because as we say in the Salvador the rat has fallen. <laughs> so we have money. <laughs> hey. Did they pay that? You see, you should ask Live anything that you want to month. Gabby. <laughs> and that's it. No, but I like it. Very good. The rat. <laughs> Are you working the in a call center right now, by the way? Yeah. yeah. Hey. I've been working in a call center for around 10 years. Oh. But I, I don't work at the call center, but I am the, like a back office. I am the receptionist and also the manager assistant. Oh, excuse me, mademoiselle. Excuse me. You know, with respect. No, with respect. <laughs> you see, that's why That's why I, you can ask anything. You, you can invite us to a booth if you want, or you can say, yeah. <laughs> you, we're lucky that we're having the classes at home right if not she's gonna be in trouble in a big trouble <laughs> i'm just teasing you guys <laughs> very good okay guys it's time to make a memory game right okay thank you so much okay let me ask you a question and um, do you remember guys what is the question that i was formulating every time that i ask you to participate what was the question how was your day? How was, How was your, your day? day? Yeah, very good. How was your day? What does it mean in Spanish? Most of the day. Yes, exactly. How was your day? Okay, cool. Everybody participated in answer, right? How was your day? Okay, may I ask you, who said, guys, listen carefully, who said that <laughs> a dress up really fancy because cooked dinner and had a really nice uh, family time with <laughs> her mother-in-law. Marilyn Ramirez. Marilyn Morrow. Marilyn Morrow, yeah, <laughs> Marilyn Ramirez, all right. <laughs> Who said that the kitchen is closed every day and she went out and had dinner outside? Blanquita. Blanqui, yeah, very good. Who was the girl or the boy, because I don't know, right, that, um, Loves to play video games. Um, no, oh. 
Don't I guess tell Josue. Me. Josue, you, your guess was right. You forget the name. I, you forgot the name. Come on. No, 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 no. It's Mr. Josue Torres. Very good. Excellent. And he was like, he was a really good student. He was oh, studying simple past, you know. That's great. Excellent. Who said that it was a really tired day? And it was more than one. What? No, not everybody. <laughs> well, yeah and no, but there were two of you that said, ah, teacher, today was like really tired for me. There were two people. I think Claudia. Claudia. Claudia was one of them. Who else? Mm. Also me. <laughs> no. Ah. Yeah, I, 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 also, I, also, also, uh huh. Also, blanky, blanky. No, no. I think Gabby mm -hmm. said that it was not, not everything was too bad, but but I yeah. mean that right now this person said that it was a really stressful day. So that means everything was bad, except for the English class, of course, right? Uh huh. So Claudia is one one of them. Who else? Ha ha, memory game. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, I 2. Guess it was what? Gabby. No. no. It was Leo. Come on. I guys, no way. All right, okay. Well, uh, the class like, started early class because started. I didn't hear, I didn't hear the, the participation of Leo. No, oh, oh no, of course the class always starts early. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just this is you, Gabby. <laughs> you know what? It's because you look exactly like my niece. That's the reason why. And also Claudita, right? Claudita said. Yeah, she, she reminds me, my baby girl. So I'm sorry. Sorry, Gabby. Sorry, the teacher that will, you will have today. I apologize. <laughs> no, that's okay. Very good. Who said that it was a terrific, but terrific in a positive way? Magnificent day because he had a day off. Edwin Pineda. Edwin, and what did he do? He went to his family. Chilagua or something. Chilagua, yeah, Chilagua, exactly. Chilagua. Leo, to to saw his family. Uh -huh. And what did he do there? He ate mango. Uh huh. And and which is the other fruit that he mentioned? Ikako. Ikako. Okay, very good. We're practicing the listening, guys. Present is for detailed information, okay? Ah, very good, excellent. And who also said that I woke up really early morning around 6 a.m. in the morning? Marilyn. Marilyn Monroe, exactly, very good. And last but not least, is somebody shared right now that it was really tough, but also it was uh, received a, re a, a little bit of bad news about a family member. Claudia. 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 Cecilia. Yes. And guys, may I ask you something? This is going to be a really interesting question. Who had not participated? Anna. No. Yes. No, I know, I know. But, but Anna recently had been joined this class. But I mean, the one that we were together before Anita joined the class. Veronica? Yeah. Julio? No. Elsie? Elsie? No. Ana? No. Pamela? Pamela? No. Liz? I haven't asked her yet. Uh huh. Yes. Ah, you see? And she was like, zip it, zip it. You know what? Zip it. Zip it means like close your mouth, but in a good way. The same happened yesterday. Uh huh. You see? I know, I know. But it's for a reason. Okay, okay, Elsie wants to participate. Okay, Elsie, the Microsoft is all yours. Go ahead. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Well, um, as some co-partners, um, this day was very, very stressful. Really? Because my bus is in the country. 
and Ooh. he called me and he got he had he was a bad hum humor wow and yeah. uh, so um he was very angry and he did not admit explanation about some topic uh, but Ooh. at the end of the conversation finally he admitted that i was right so i think Oops. this more stress for me of course i understand that perfectly yeah and the yeah. traffic i i i have to drive some some places and uh, it's a lot of traffic okay yeah. oh my god i'm sorry but you made it elsie you made it so i'm so happy that yeah. even though it was really yeah. hard for you to be here because of everything yeah. that happens to you and because of the traffic right but you're here and it's really good so yeah yay yeah. Hey guys, thank you, Elsie, for sharing today's uh, your day, right? It was not so good, but at the same time, it was good because you're here. Yay. Okay, let me ask you something, guys. When is it a lot of traffic? There's one word. Do you remember? Traffic jam. Traffic jam. Very good. Also but, traffic stuff. Uh, similar. Uh huh. But for example, do you know that there is expression that you can set? For example, I'm here, stuck in the traffic, and I cannot move. How you say that in one phrase? Any idea? Yeah. There's one phrase. This is an idiom that we had that we used to express. As I told you yesterday, you're gonna learn a new word, at least new word every single day. No? Maybe it's stuck. It, it, it has the meaning. It has the meaning. But stuck is more like you, yourself, without being in, in a vehicle, just you, yourself, physically, you are stuck in something. But no, if you're like driving, it's different. But that is the meaning. That is what it means. But it's a phrase that we use. Let me give it to you. I'm going to write it down on chat. Any idea? No? Okay, let me read it to you. Hey, oops, wait a minute. It's not is. It's, it's in. I don't know why, but they change it here in my keyboard. For some reason, it changed uh, the keyboard into Spanish, English, and French. So that's why sometimes it's like, book. Uh -huh. So instead of in, guys, it's, it's, instead of is, sorry, it's in. The second one. That's the second one. Cold in a rush. No, cow. Cut in a rush. Cut in a rush. Repeat after me, guys. Cut in a rush. Cut Only in a rush. rush. Uh, what mean? Cow. No. Only rush. Cut in a rush. Cutting. Cut in a rush. Um, Only rush. rush. Only the rush. Only the word rush. Uh, what mean? Cutting a rush. Rush is like similar like to hurry up. Okay. Mm -hmm. But kind of. I rush. have also. I heard also that they usually said like vuelta de rueda, but I don't remember how they called. Ah, do you know that, guys? But Russia? it's yeah, but it's similar to that. Basically, we mm -hmm. most of the time, Anita, we use cut in a rush because that mm -hmm. means that you are like vuelta de rueda, right? You cannot mm -hmm. move front, you cannot move back, you cannot book on sizes. You are in stuck in the traffic, and there is no way that you can continue, right? So when you're cutting a rush, that means like I'm stuck in traffic. I cannot move. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. So there's a new phrase for you. Rush means that you're driving. Yes, when you're driving. I can say right. when I'm, I'm when you are driving. driving. Or but not, not cannot... necessarily when you are driving. If you are inside of a vehicle, you can say that. I can That's... say that when I am. If you're uh, a passenger, for example. In Boston, I can mm -hmm. say. Yes. I am... Cutting a rush. I'm cutting a rush. That that when you said I'm cutting a rush, all native people will understand that. Oh, oh my God, she's in traffic, and there should be like traffic jam. So she's. I think she's not gonna make it. For example, when you said cutting but a rush, we know that you you are in stuck in traffic. Traffic jam is like trabazón. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. You can say that if you are the driver or if you are the passenger, it doesn't matter if you're going a taxi, for example, 
or a, a bus, a train, a, hel a helicopter. No, it's not possible, right? And, <laughs> or anything. Or maybe if you're going on a bus, on a bike as well, a motorcycle as well, because you're stuck. Basically, you're stuck. Okay. Is, is it brand new for you? Have you heard it before? No. No? No. Well, there you go. So you are going to increase your vocabulary today. Excellent. Very good. So guys, how was your day? Why I'm asking you that question? Remember that so far, guys, we were talking about simple past, right? And you already know, yesterday we did like a recap that you already know that simple past would be your answer perfectly. But when you said, was your day good? You gotta say, yes, it was. No, it wasn't, right? That was a just no question with better to be. Or you can say, did you do anything interesting today? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Remember, we saw also that yesterday, there was a just no question with did as an auxiliary, right? And a just no question, guys, let me ask you something. The intonation goes up or goes down? Do you remember? Up. Uh-huh. Yep. Who said that, Jaime? Yes. Mm -hmm. It goes up. Very good. Yes. But guys, do you did you figure it out that I uh, also ask you a, a, in pass, but I use a different way to ask you? How was your day? What kind of a question is that? How was your day? What kind of questions? We have a lot of questions in English, but we have two main questions. The first one is, was your day, did you? That is a just no question with past, right? You know that by heart. But uh, what about that one? How was your day? What kind of question is that? Any ideas? Okay, no, I know everybody wants to participate, but hold your horses, okay? I understand that perfectly. There you go, there you go. Okay, thank you so much, Liz. Go ahead, Lizette. I guess is it's a question that requires an explanation. Very an good. Open explanation. Exactly. Uh, is it different from the Marley. one that we saw yesterday? Yes, Marilyn. Are you about to say something? No. I know. I cannot hear you. Your microphone is like off. WH question. Very oh. good, Marilyn. Yes. WH question. Remember, like the uh -huh. like a reporter, what, who, when, how, where, etc. Okay, that is how was your day? I, I if you if you know, guys, if you notice, this is a WH question. So we, that's the way that we call information questions, is another way, because we need to have like more information. We're not asking for a simple yes and a simple no. We want to have like a little bit of explanation. How was your day? I asked Leo and he said, yes, it was good. No, right? He started like, oh, my day was tough because of this and this is it. You see, he gave me an explanation. So guys, in English, if you want us in Spanish as well, we have two types of questions. We have a just no question. When we put uh, the auxiliary was or did at the beginning of the question, but we do have an uh, WH question like the one that we formulated today, that is also needs more explanation than a simple yes and a simple no. And guess what? The intonation goes up or goes down. What do you think? What, what do you think? The intonation. I don't understand that it's up or down. Okay, for the intonation, when you, for example, there's some people, if you notice that, that they're asking you something, but when you listen to that person, it doesn't sound like if it's asking you something. It sounds like if it's saying something. So in English, we need to, uh, to learn that if we are asking something, it needs to sound as a question, not as a statement. So in this case, the, the intonation, that means your voice needs to go up, for example, did you do anything special? Did you do anything special? You see, my tone of voice is not flat. Did you do anything special? Because it sounds like Robert. Did you do anything special? So, and I just no question, the intonation will go up. But in this question, the WH question, the intonation goes down. You see, 
I, I didn't say, hey, how was your day? And I went, everybody's like, what? No, right? I said, how was your day? You see? How was your day? Like, okay. like an ocean wave, right? How was your day? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you start asking me. So in that case, guys, how was your day? Where were you born? You see? Where were you born? Donde naciste? Where were you born? When were you born? Right? Etc. You can use a lot of them. And also, guys, you can use it with did. For example, if I ask you, I'm going to write it on the chat. What did you do last? Hey, think about it, guys. What did you do last Saturday? If I ask you that, what will be your question? <clears throat> well, your answer. Well, we, what did you do last Saturday? You see, I'm using exactly, guys, the same type of question, but instead of was, I use with did. So also, guys, you can use it with did, you can use it with was, and it will be also informative questions. The difference, of course, is that when you use did, you have to remember that the main verb stays in the past, in the present, sorry. You don't say, what did you did last Saturday, no? What did you do last Saturday? For example, if I ask you, hmm. Julio, what did you do last Saturday? I went to dinner with my husband, with my wife. Oof, okay. Like, oops. <laughs> hey, oops. Hey, oops. <laughs> hey, did you notice his expression? Well... I went to dinner with my wife. Oh my God, that was so fantastic and romantic. What a radio voice. Excellent, very good. So you said that, okay, very good. Hey, in that case, did you notice that when I ask him, even though I use did as a question, guys, but when he answers me, did he use did, yes or no? No. No, right? What did he use? Sure. Uh -huh. Sure. Another the verb, air. exactly. But in, yes, Gabby? Sorry? He used a verb, exactly, you're right. But a verb yeah. in what tense? In past. In past, exactly. Yes. He can use any verb, right? Depends on what he has done. All right, very good. So let me check. Can you come up with a different uh, question, guys? Leo, for example, can you formulate a question for us? Using Sorry? simple past? Can you, can you make a question like, like the ones that example? Mm. You can use what, where, who. What, what do you cook? What do you cook? In, <laughs> what do you cook last Monday? I don't know. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Who who you want to answer? Um, Pick uh, every, anybody. Claudia Cecilia. Okay, Claudia. Ciao, Cecilia. Go ahead. What What did you cook last Monday? Very good. Oh, well, what that is you... empiric. <laughs> no, <laughs> hypothetic, okay? Yes, you can lie to us. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yes, because all the time I, my daughter uh, uh, prepared the... Prepares. The for me, yes. Prepares. Prepares. No. All right. Prepares to me. Um, for dinner, I prepared... Um, rice and Ooh. and some a uh, a uh, piece of piece of uh meat. Oh my! No, uh, okay. And a few oh, lettuce. 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 And no, a few no some lettuce or oh, oh, lettuce. Oh, you can say a lettuce. That's it. Okay. Or a salad. Okay, and um, that's it. Green salad. Okay, very good. <laughs> very very healthy, salad. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent. Amazing. I'd like to know what is lettuce. Lettuce. What, that is, what does it mean, guys? Chuga. Exactly. What? Oh, what? What? Lechuga? What? Lettuce. Let Chuga. Yeah. Oh, lettuce. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm writing to you oh how you lettuce. write it. Okay. But somebody said lettuce, no, lettuce. 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 That's the great pronunciation. And that means lettuce. less sugar, right? In a spot. Lettuce. Oh, gosh. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Somebody says, like, lettuce or like, lettuce. No, lettuce. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's a little different. I, it's it, it's yeah. okay. Uh huh. How, uh, uh, how do you listen to it? Lizette? Yes. Uh huh. You said that it sounds different? Yeah, because I was thinking it's lettuce for all my life, <laughs> but now I know this. Lettuce. No, it's not lettuce. Really? It's not lettuce. It's lettuce. Letters. 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 Uh, at the beginning, my best recommendation would be like uh, to open your mouth. If the teacher opens the mouth, open the mouth. Buy your tongue. <laughs> Whatever, right? So, uh, so that uh, uh, that will help your facial muscles to get used to the pronunciation. And maybe at the beginning, you will feel like exaggerating, like goofy, right? <laughs> but don't worry. It's part of the process. After you finish... Then it will yes. come up like easy way. <laughs> and it will come out like that. You don't have to open your mouth. Ah, or do it like this. No, no. Or do it like this. No. It will come up <laughs> easy. Easy peasy queasy. Like piece of cake, right? But sometimes, you see? Lettuce. You see? If you do it like that, lettuce. Oh, do it, guys? Lettuce. 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 Like, but I want you to open lettuce. the mouth. Lettuce. 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 And everybody's like... Yeah. <laughs> right like a, a smile of of uh, of a dry fish right pescado seco dry fish all right <laughs> yeah but then when your facial muscle will get used to it you see let us see let us you don't have to open your mouth let us but it's part of the process today guys we're going to practice also phonetic we have been practicing phonetic which is really really important all right, very good. Any other question? Thank you, Edwin. Oh, no, Anita, Anita, Anita Pineda Creole. Come on. Can you formulate another question with WH using pass, please? Anything, don't worry. Where did you live? Where do you live? 1990. Where do you live? In 1990. Well, in, in 2090. In 2019, uh, 2019. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Hopefully everybody still remembers that. Who you want to answer that question? Yeah. Jaime. He's yeah. Jaime. Jaime is like, yeah, me. Okay, Jaime. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. On 2018, I live in Mexicanos. You live or you lived? Lived. Very good. Excellent. So do it again, please. Answer. I live uh, on 2019. I live in Mexicanos. Very good. Thank you. You know what? 10 years in a call center, my ears are really developed like you cannot imagine, like TC core, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent job. Good job, my man. Excellent. Can you formulate another question, Jaime, please? How do you feel yesterday? How do you feel yesterday? Okay, who you yes. want to answer that question? Uh, Let's see. Maybe Lisette. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but Lisette Sarakai or Claudia Lisette Velasquez? Which one we have? Because we have two. Okay, Velasquez. <laughs> oh, Velasquez. Ah, you're safe, Sarakai. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Liz. <laughs> Okay. No, no, I'm sorry. I was thinking. <laughs> Don't worry. Because, um, because um, the other word when you say letters, mm -hmm. uh, is I was remember the other word um, letters L E T T E R S mm -hmm. letters. It's similar Le letters. Though, I was thinking of that. You mean letters. letters like writing letters? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's different. You see? Letters, letters. Letters. Oh. It's, it's different. Letters. Letters. 
Letters. Letters. Like uh, la sugar. <laughs> and letters from writing. Letters. It's different. <laughs> Yes. It's kind no. it's not, it's not you, You're welcome. That's why we're here. Okay, so let's listen to Lis Lisette Velasquez. Go ahead. Okay. The question was how how what? <laughs> Can how you repeat you? the question? Yes, of course. Uh, yeah, how do you feel yesterday? How do oh. you feel or how did you feel? How did you feel? Yesterday? Very good. Thank you, Jaime. Oh, yesterday I feel I feel um, feel well I guess and a little busy in in the whole day okay because my work is um, so exhausting <laughs> and I had to make some informs and to send them to court oh very good but just to help you a little bit when he said how did you feel that's okay. good what you said but I think the information you need to change it a little bit because okay. when, he, when he said, how did you feel? He was asking you about your physical and emotional situation. Oh, okay. So maybe you said, I, I felt, because remember that is the past of feel, I felt exhausted because, and then you said, I had to make a lot of reports and et cetera. But first you gotta give us the feeling emotionally or physically. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's good. Excellent. Excellent job. And never forget about the past, right? Felt. Okay. Remember? We're going to use okay. the, the verbs. Hey, by the way, felt, that's the past of feel. It is a uh, regular or irregular one? What do you think, guys? Irregular. Regular. 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 Very good. Regular. Very good. Yes. Very good. Exactly. Regular. All right. And Claudia, Liz, could you please formulate a question and ask to Pamela Tovar, please? Yes. Um, I'm sorry, Pame. Where did you go two days ago? <gasps> two days ago. That's an interesting question. Hi. Good evening for Good everyone. Good evening for everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Okay. <laughs> uh, Do you um, remember? Where did you go two days ago? Um. To essay, I to, went to uh -huh. my work. I went to my work. Yeah. Wow. It's a law. It's a law firm. It's a law firm. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. Cloudy could be your mentor, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. So you went to work. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Two days. You you know what, guys? It's really nice what you're saying because remember we're using time expression, right? We're saying last week, last year, uh, two days ago, right? Two days ago. Uh, what else? Last, last Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Also, you said in 2019, right? That is good, guys, and I congratulate you because basically when we're talking about past tense, we can use also time expressions like the one that you mentioned last week, last year, to, and that emphasize that we're talking about past. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So now do me a favor. We're going to do something really nice, you know, and uh, let me see right now. Yes. It's time for us to practice something that 